Hello everybody, I'm Rob the Ranger, welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Eco Training Trails Guide course and their facility in the Salati Game Reserve. Enjoy! Now the camp itself is set on the bank of the Salati River, which is dry most of the year. Simple dome tents with two beds each, and a main area with plenty of seating, a uh, dining area around the fire there, and uh, lots of shade in the big trees. Going around to the other side where the lecture hall is and also where you can eat if it's raining. You can see there's uh, plenty of wildlife visiting the camp. Uh, there's uh, Yalas here. Come and join you while you're studying. Uh, a resident little of the bar barred owl <laughs> seen most days around the camp. So cute. I need to see her now in daylight. Mm -hmm. No, they're, they're uh, like the pearl spotted, they're more active uh, early morning, late afternoon. Mm -hmm. The fire is a focal point in the evenings. Everybody spends their time discussing the day's activities. <laughs> The lecture hall itself is covered with posters, all sorts of information given out there. Uh, you can learn how to be a guide just by standing around in this room, it's excellent. Obviously there's also a lot of information given out during the lectures, here's a couple of them. When you get a clean rifle, bolt out and put it down. Don't go and do this. Okay, and then take another one. Why? You must mix up your bolts. Because the bolts. Mix up your bolts. Okay. okay. So just do one at a time. There's no rush. Just don't, because although they're 375s, it's, they're not, the head space is going to be different, all sorts of other technical stuff. So just one at a time. Or if you've got two stations and two of you are working, then they're much easier. Okay. Why are they the big five? Why are they considered the most dangerous animals? Because they were the most dangerous to hunt. Spot on. Okay. They were the hunters' trophies for dangerous animals. But these days. Or not? I think someone pressing it. Okay, lion, leopard, we talked about elephant, you mentioned. <laughs> Buffalo, you mentioned. Hippo. Okay, white rhino, black rhino. And spotty hyena. <laughs> so it is a trails guide course, so most of the time is spent actually out in the bush rather than in the classroom. You can learn a lot more by experiencing it out there than it's by gone sitting around and reading your book. So book yeah. whilst you're out learning, the yeah, instructors will teach you about tracks. Um, here we're looking at aardvark oh, tracks. These tracks we have the lion and rhino walking in the same direction towards the watering hole. In this spot we even got to see brown hyena tracks with a spotted hyena track for comparison. We struck gold at this instance where we come down right, and digging for roots and you now he found what he's looking for. So he's eaten as much as he can of this bowl, mm. and then yeah, left the rest of all the uh, um, trees. She is so cool, I can't believe we missed this yesterday. <laughs> I tell Ross that. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> see So aside from the tracking and interpretation, the main point of the course is to learn to approach dangerous animals safely and effectively. Here are some of the approaches that we need.
der er jo... Øh... Although there's a lot of time spent on foot, there's also plenty of breaks taken during these walking trails, so you can have some time just to sit and relax and take in your surroundings. Maybe we'll take a picture of you for, for a change, and you're always taking pictures of us. <laughs> Martina? Mm -hmm. They're up. Look at me. <laughs> So for safety reasons, trails guides walk with a rifle, so rifle handling is very important. 
part of this course. Obviously nobody wants to have to shoot an animal, but knowing what to do in the worst case scenario is very important. So here the students are practicing dry drills, and then they have an advanced rifle handling assessment. Follow me, stay behind me. You make sure it's dead. Okay, everyone stand still. I'm just gonna reload my rifle. Everyone's okay. You're alright. Okay, don't move, stand where you are. I'm going to make sure the animal is dead. The okay, animal is dead. Follow me. Second formula reflex. Alright, she's dead. Now the instructors Bruce and Mark show how it's done properly. Finished. The students are then assessed as they conduct a trail as a backup. We'll take a look at a couple of them doing their pre-trail briefing here. Um, please walk in a single line and always stay behind the rifle. And please walk in silence as we don't want to disturb the environment. By and talking. please uh, don't run. Whatever you do, don't run. Uh, if not, the instructor is telling you otherwise. Um, please be always behind the wire. possible, we've also got a system of hand signals. So if I want you to stop, we'll put a hand up. If we want you to freeze, if we see something really exciting, let's freeze. Um, get down on your haunches and this is come to, to grab our attention. If you see some things that you want to explain, or we did, we missed, 
you can clap on the signs or click the finger or to the sound. So it's a natural sound to get our attention. Yeah. So overall this is definitely a course worth doing whether you want to be a trails guide or not. Just the experience is very unique and very special. I recommend it to anyone uh, that has a lot Alright, thank you all for watching, if indeed you still are. Uh, if you want to check out Eco Training, all their links to their social media, their website, their YouTube channel are in the description underneath at the bottom of the video you know where it is there's also the info card up there if you want to click on that uh, and then all of the other normal things that you should do on YouTube subscribe to me subscribe to them buy a t-shirt share the video like the video uh, whatever other that sort of stuff you do uh, into the end card we have Eco Training's videos, a video that they've done on their channel with me, and obviously all my social media links. Follow me there. Thank you. Bye bye.